My Best Friend's Exorcism is a book by Grady Hendrix, and we just got an adaptation on Amazon. And we promise we're going to try to keep our feelings of the book and the movie as disconnected as we can, because there's nothing worse than listening to some book snob elite <laughs> who's talking about, oh, the book, you know, is always better than the movie and this and that. Well, in this case, they're absolutely right. This was a dreadful adaptation and a dreadful film. I should yeah. say it's a dreadful film and an even more dreadful adaptation. So if you're somebody <laughs> yeah. who was looking forward to this as a film, don't watch it. If you're somebody who's looking forward to this as an adaptation, definitely don't watch this. Don't and if it. you're somebody who's like, I usually don't like adaptations, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm always hoping something will be a good adaptation. Avoid this like the plague. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. Avoid it it's so hard. Yeah. It's it's a dumpster fire <laughs> on so many levels. Uh, we've talked about it just after the movie ended, and we felt like everything moved so quickly. Oh my god. The pacing in the film is really horrible. The characters are very one-dimensional, unrelatable, zero chemistry. Zero. Just none. And the performances were really, really bad. They from, are poor. Yes, yeah. Yeah. The main girl, who we know from the recent Texas Chainsaw Massacre Netflix mm -hmm. film, um, she was also in 8th Grade by Bo Burnham, she's good in those movies. Yeah. She's not good here. And everyone else in this movie is just wooden. And I feel like they knew that the film script was just not up to snuff and we're maybe phoning it in i'm not sure because i know that this actress can give a better performance but man yeah. the biggest sin that this movie creates is its lack of character development holy hell 100%. the book and i said i'm going to try to disconnect the two but bringing the book into it as well mine as well the book is all about about the relationship it's all about the chemistry mm -hmm. it's all about you know our two main characters here and you know when when Gretchen and Abby meet from that point on in the book it's all about them it's all about how they're best friends and and they do anything for each other mm -hmm. and you really buy like why you're gonna go to these lengths and whatnot to help your friend man um, we didn't even talk about what this movie's about, but essentially a girl becomes <laughs> possessed and her friend is trying to help her and everything's falling apart around her because her friend is, you know, possessed by a demonic spirit and, and is screwing everything up and it's, she's making it very, very hard to help her. Yeah. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it's a coming of age high school story set in the eighties and they try to play it like stranger things, except for in stranger things. You get such amazing character development and chemistry yeah. between Mike and Will and Lucas and Dustin. The D and D scene alone destroys this entire film. Oh my and god! And that scene's maybe five minutes long. This movie is at freaking warp speed. <laughs> so Every bad. single thing that happens is like, whoa, wait, what? Hmm, huh? And I feel like that. Whether you've read the book or not, you're just gonna be like. Oh, okay, we're done with that scene. Oh, okay, we're moving on to this. Oh, okay, this thing's happened. Just don't care. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. And it has none of the 80s nostalgia that it could have captured. It has no style. Uh, it just overall was such a letdown and such a huge disappointment. Um, and it, it, there's a lot of changes in the movie oh for people who have read the book that are very arbitrary and make no sense and do nothing for the story. None. At all. No. Nope. So we were just like left so confused as to why those decisions were made to change certain things. And um, I read this book <laughs> just in the last couple of weeks specifically to do a book to movie comparison and I have no interest in doing it now because all it would be is us saying this is good the movie is bad 
this made the right decisions, this made the bad decisions. And what, what fun is that? Yeah. I thought maybe this film would change some things that I'm like, oh, I really like that. And what this brings to this character in this moment, this thing. And oh, they made this little change here, or they did this, or what? None of that is, nope. none of that is true here. Anything remotely good about this film is from the book. Everything remotely, everything else in this is either a poor adaptation or a change that you can't figure out why. Making a character gay for no reason. Making a character Jewish for no reason. Making a kid Like, all the changes are just like, huh? Yeah. And they expedite absolutely every single scene. And I feel like you'll feel that whether you've read the book or not. Yeah, So, poor performances. The comedy does not work, but it really wants to think it is working. Oh, the yeah. The whole thing with the Lemon Brothers... And, 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 you know, the guy from Glow who, who plays uh, the, the Lemon Brother that ends up helping her out, all that stuff. Oh, man. All of his comedy and all that stuff was completely cringy. So cringy. Never felt like I was even had a twitch of a smile. No, neither did I. I don't right? think I laughed at all. Not once. <laughs> I was very disconnected for the entire film. And just really bizarro changes that you're like, why? Like... It's a German milkshake in the book, and it's an Italian milkshake in the movie. French. Or French. It's French, yeah. yeah. The, it's but just that kind it's of stuff thing. like that Everyone's where, like, and don't get me wrong, that is not, that's going to give you a false idea. You're going to be like, oh, he's just being critical. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> it's just, you're baffled by these minute changes, and then the massive changes as well. Yes. But you're like, why bother changing that thing 100 like what's the difference yeah why have you changed like what i don't i just genuinely don't understand the idea behind changes here anyway um not a good movie so uh yeah Boo. <laughs> fan of the book whoa yes. you're gonna be so disappointed never yes. heard of the book you're gonna be disappointed if you're looking <laughs> for a fun coming of age that thing no no it just doesn't work because the characters don't work Man, this was such a letdown of a film, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so tomorrow night we are going to be doing a live stream. We're trying to do a live stream every other Friday for all y'all. And then every other Friday between those Fridays, we're going to be doing a live stream watch party for the patrons. Yeah. But this Friday, tomorrow, we are going to be doing ghost stories real life ghost stories from miss kaylee here she's picked out one one or more there's multiple and multiple? i would say they're more paranormal okay yeah okay so we got paranormal stories yes. i asked a lot of you i got a big response on if you believe in ghosts and 59 percent of you i think there was like almost 600 votes 59 percent of you said yes and 41% of you said no. So it's a pretty, almost even split. So I think it'll be a fun thing to come on over because she's more of the believer. I'm more of the non-believer. And we're just going to have fun and discuss paranormal happenings. And I'm also going to post something right now after I finish this video so you can look for it. It'll already be there. And uh, it'll be asking you for your own personal tales of paranormal activity that you yourself has experienced and um, we'll pick a few of them out and we'll read them live on the channel so tomorrow 8 p.m mountain standard time kaylee and i will be doing that so yeah. anyways uh subscribe like, like the video because comment. we're really really trying to grow the channel and i you guys know i never asked for that stuff but i i do want this channel to grow and I want us to be successful and I want to be able to do this more often because I love it. I don't love watching movies like this, no. but I'd much <laughs> rather be watching movies like this and discussing them than going to work. That's <laughs> yes. for damn sure. So, um, and of course, if you liked it, that's wonderful. We're not here to ever shit on anyone's opinion. No. Um, so don't shit on ours. <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> I get enough of that in the comments. <laughs> how wrong we are. Be respectful. It's all just Or don't, it's and I'll blast opinion, you right? in the comments. It's art, man. 
Actually, go ahead. <laughs> I love smashing you guys in the comments. <laughs> so if you see my mean comments, make sure you click on them because I guarantee you I responded <laughs> and I guarantee it's funny as hell. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye.